this is Foreman 6 here. Today I'll be showing in the Folding at Home Clients version 7's remote access ability. With this ability, you'll be able to control other computers, There's whether they're on your local network or even across the internet, with one client. Now, I won't be showing how to do the internet side of things. I just don't have the stuff to do that. But I'll be showing the local side. And the reason why I'm showing all this is because I know some people have had trouble setting this all up, so that's why I want to show how to do today. First thing you want to do is go to the com do go to a computer that that you want to be able to remote control. Say it's a work computer or or a computer that may be in like the basement and you prefer to be on the first floor or whatever. So I bring up my remote assistance here. Maximize that. What you want to do on the folding at home that's on going to be on your, your computer that you're going to remote control, you're going to click configure. You're going to go to remote access, and here you should just type a pass. You need a well, you need a pa type a password. It can be any password of your choosing. You can leave the port and and everything else at default. Click save. that you're going to be using to control everything. You're going, to, you're going to click add. You're going to want to give it a name. and You could leave it at default. Oh, I forgot one thing. You need to get the IP P address from your computer and you're going to want to add it over here. Password in that you would put on to the client, and for the well to the other client. After all that, it should say online over here, and it should try to connect over here. It's like my local, the one that runs on this computer is SMP, the family computer, as I named it. It should show Uni Processor. And if I was to go over here and add another slot, I'll see it over here as well. And you're able to adjust it over here. 